Hello YouTubers and welcome to the Virginia Bushcrafter channel. This is the channel where we learn and we practice bushcrafting, prepping and survival skills. So guys with bushcrafting, prepping and survival skills, there is a vast amount of intricacies in bushcrafting, prepping and survival skills. And one of those intricacies is your cutting tool. So today I want to introduce you to my latest acquisition of my cutting tools. And it is the Jungle King knife. Now this knife is a nice solid knife. Now you know the longer we do something, we become very particular and, and specific about what we like in an item or a product. So when it comes to knives or my cutting tools, what I'm looking for in a knife now is a fixed blade knife. I like the fixed blade knife because it is stronger and there are no moving parts. As you can see, from the heel all the way up, one piece of metal. Stronger, no moving parts. Another thing I require now is at least a five inch blade. This blade is six inches, but I prefer five inches because five inches will allow me to baton just about anything necessary in the bush. So another thing that I require is a 90 degree spine. By having a 90 degree spine, that's gonna allow me to um, work a fer ferrous simrod much better. I can strike the ferrous simrod and get nice sparks. The next thing I prefer, it's not mandatory, but I prefer a carbon steel blade. And that is because it is easier to maintain a carbon steel blade in the bush as opposed to a stainless steel blade. Carbon steel blade will, will have a tendency to roll that you can't correct in the bush, whereas a steel, a stainless steel blade will more than likely chip and require reprofiling. But that's not a deal breaker for me. The next thing I want is a razor sharp edge. It has to be razor sharp. So again, the five things I'm looking for in a knife, a fixed blade, at least five inches, with a 90 degree spine for using a fair sim rod, carbon steel, preferable, preferably, and a razor sharp knife. Now, the pros I see with this knife is that it does have a six inch blade. And again, I can baton with this, this uh, blade. I can carve with it because of this portion here. I can slice, I can scrape, and I can chop. So those are the things you can do with at least a five inch or a six inch blade. And another thing that I prefer, or what's good about this, play, this knife, is that the spine is 3 16th of an inch. Now that is thick, and that is strength. So, I mean, some knives are 1 8th of an inch. You know, that's, that's still good. But 3 16th to a quarter of an inch is a very strong knife. Now this knife is not stainless steel. It is 1065 German surgical steel. Now German surgical steel is stronger than regular stainless steel, which means this German surgical steel will hold an edge longer than just regular stainless steel. And one great thing about it, it's made in the USA. 
I am a fan of products made in the USA. Now, some of the features of this knife is that it has a, the overall length is 11 inches, but it has a, no, 11 and a half inches. It has a five and a half inch hand guard. So that is really, really nice. And the thing about it, it has a choil. The choil is right here. Well, let's see if you can see it. Right in here. That allows me to put my finger in here and keep control of the knife. So with the choil and the jimping, as you can see, there's jimping right here. Now that jimping is gonna allow or assist me in keeping a good firm grip when making feather sticks or carving. Good position. It also has jimping just behind it. If you can see the jimping right here. That is gonna allow me to use this knife to pierce if I want to make a bow drill, I can do piercing or I can do thrusting if necessary. So with the jimping here and here, that's a plus. Also, there's jimping on the heel of the knife. The jimping is right here. Let's see if you can see that. Now with that jimping at the end there, it's going to allow me to put my pinky finger here, grab this well, put my finger here and I can stab into a piece of wood, take another piece of wood and make feather sticks. So that's a some of the features of this knife. Now other features of this knife, knife is, it is a sawback blade. Here you have the sawback blade, which you can do some sawing, limbs and so forth. But what's even better that if you are in a survival mode and you need to go through a fence or barbed wire or something, you can actually hook that wire into one of the hooks of the saw, one of the teeth of the saw, and pull the wire back as necessary to get through a fence or anything of that nature. Or if you're in the bush and there are a lot of limbs, you can actually use this to pull limbs out of your way. So that's a great thing to have the saw back. The next thing is the grip, which it offers a lot of leverage. I can take the knife as it is, do nice chopping, or I can put my fingers, let's see, put my fingers here, and that gives me more leverage for chopping. I can even put my fingers further back that gives me more leverage for chopping. So the grip and the leverage is great. Another important feature that I look for in a knife is a pommel. As you can see, the pommel is right here. This pommel is gonna allow me to crush acorns when necessary, or if I go just go get, if I go and get some punk wood, I can put it on another piece of wood and really hit that punk wood, smash it, and make tinder out of it. So that's a good thing about it. Another good thing about, another good feature of this knife is that you can make it out of a spear. You can do some lashings to it. There's a hole here, there's a hole right there. So you can lash this to a stick. Let's say there's a limb that's eight, nine feet long, and you can make this knife become a spear. You may, you may be able to throw it, which I would not recommend, but you can also use it if there is something up in the tree. Let's say there's hanging fruit. Lash a long limb to it, and you can cut that fruit down. So that's very, very good. Now the blade has three parts to it. This portion here, I am going to use for carving, for making feather sticks, shavings, uh, um, 
pot hangers and so forth. This portion of the belly, this is for chopping. And this portion, the tanto portion here, is for piercing, thrusting, piercing, and slicing. You can even slice with this portion. Put your hand here and you can do your slicing. So those are some great features of this knife. The only con that I have against this knife is that it's a hollow grind knife. As you can see, um, some of the metal is grinded out here. And one way to tell if it's a hollow grind, if you're really not sure, if you take something and put it across the blade of the knife, and if you can see light under that object that's across the blade, you know it's a hollow grind. So I basically take into the woods a convex or a saber grind, and I always have a, a Scandinavian grind for fine, fine work. But um, since this is 1065 German surgical steel, I don't see this being a problem. And again, this is basically a survival knife. It can be used for camping, fishing, hunting, any outdoor adventure. So that's the only con I have about it is that it's a hollow grind. But hey, suffice it to say, I'm sure it's going to work well. Now it comes with a very nice sheet. This sheet will hold up to a five and a half inch blade. Now this is five inches and it holds it very well. Now good thing about this sheet, it's nylon and it has tactical mollies on it. If you look at the back, you'll see there are mollies, there's a molly here and there's a molly right here. So with these mollies, this will allow you to attach this sheet to your rucksack. So you can carry it on the back of your rucksack and that's fine. You also can carry this vertically on your belt. Here's a nice, maybe like a two and a half inch belt loop and you can carry this vertical or you can carry this knife, scout, uh, uh, scout carry it, which it will be horizontal on your belt loop. And here it has a braided cord, a braided cord that you can put your belt through and then you can carry it, scout carry, scout carry it To the side or again you can put you can attach this to the strap of your rucksack so that's very good this sheet also has uh, plastic on the inside to keep from cutting the sheet that's plastic all the way to the end of, end of uh, the tip of the blade again that pre prevents the blade from cutting the nylon sheet. And it stores the blade very, very well. And you have these snap buttons. There's a snap button that actually stores and secure this knife very well. In addition, it all some of the other characteristics is that it has here again this this uh diamond braid cord this again you can use this as a scout carry but you can also use this braided cord as a leg loop while this portion is attached to your belt you actually have a leg loop and in addition you know you have another loop at the bottom that you can use as a tie down or a leg loop which is great Another thing, it has a tool pouch, which I'm sure I will keep. This is just a piece of ceramic rod that I'll use to keep in here. 
uh, to do sharpening in the field. I'll also probably put a fair sim rod in there, matches, lighters, uh, anything that's necessary. Now, I'm not sure what this portion, this strap here is for. I am assuming that I can use it to actually attach other gear on here since this is mainly a survival knife. So these are the good characteristics of this sheet and I am looking forward to getting into the bush with this this weekend to try it out. Um, I normally say try your tools out before you go into the bush but I know I'm going to have another axe with me I mean or a hatchet or another machete or something so I'm taking this into the bush and I'm going to give it a try and I'm going to bring you guys along when I do so again guys this is a jungle king knife that is good for bushcrafting camping fishing basically any outdoor activity so guys if you get a chance check it out and i would like for you to hit that like button comment share and subscribe to my channel the virginia bushcrafter thank you i appreciate appreciate you and i'll see you on the next video